Making Food. I'm Rebecca. And I am Amy. And today we are April Foolin' Around. April Foolin' Around. <laughs> because it's on or around April Fools. Unless it's not. Which Unless would just it's be not. Awkward. But but the way we calculated it, we're pretty sure this episode <laughs> is going be. to air sometime around April Fools. And we have a treat so, for people today. We're we veering do. off the normal track. We are. And what are we doing, Amy? Well, I am going to do um, a, f one of, a family favorite of mine, which I've been doing for years since I was in high school, <gasps> which is fried wontons. Mm. And fried wontons are kind of relevant, although different for us. Yep. But they are still relevant because, one, Jews love Chinese food. This is true. Everybody knows it. And two... Wontons are kind of like kreplach, mm -hmm. which is um, usually you have for Purim, and it's, it's just in like a soup. It's, it's like a usually, dumpling yeah, in a soup. A dumpling in a soup that you you put meat, and you could do cheese, but you do mm -hmm. meat inside a pasta dough, mm -hmm. fold it in a triangle, and then you put it in your soup. Now, I'm very excited. I yeah. have never made wontons. You're going to love it. So she was trying to explain to me how to fold them. It seems a little complicated. Which I'll show but I'm when I'm excited. done. But, um, but the, the kind of funny thing about this is that, so I learned this recipe when I was babysitting in high school, and... It was a Chinese family, and their last name was Ju. I'm not that? kidding. What is it? The little girl's name was spelled... Jenny Ju. J U. J U. And yeah. they pronounced it Ju. I mean, I think they were Chinese, so they taught me how to make wontons. So I don't know. Like... <laughs> but I love the last it. name was Ju. J U. So. And it's, so... it's inspired you. So it's inspired this is a today. Jewish recipe. <laughs> That's anyway, awesome. okay, so so let's, uh, get so let's get started. So I have got here a pound of ground beef, but you could do any meat. It doesn't matter if, you know, if you eat pork, you can do pork, you can do chicken, do turkey. turkey, you could do turkey. Yeah. I've said or it before, chicken. my husband doesn't like ground turkey, so I'm doing the beef. Um, put in a uh, one egg, mm. then you do like a couple tablespoons of the soy sauce, whatever, you know, like a tablespoon, a whatever. I don't, you know, I don't measure. And then I did, I chopped up one can of water chestnuts and um, one, what do you call it, like a stem of scallions, mm -hmm. just, you know, the white bits and a little bit of the green. Put all that in. Now, do you use the white bits? Only a little, a bit. little bit. Oh, the white? A lot of white. That's but the, it's the is. green that you, which one, are, which, which is the part you're not supposed to use? Well, the green is really not where the flavor is. And it's funny because when I was young, I never Because it's I not where the flavor used... is, but it's where the color is. Right. But I used to not even use the white bits because I thought it was just the green. So I wasn't using the good parts, which is silly. Well, and we learn as we live. I know. But you do want to <laughs> use the white bits because that's the oniony part. Well, yeah. A um, little bit oh, of, shoot. look at this. Look at <laughs> Thanks that to That was my, not what I, I thought know, was right? going to happen. This is Pepper. <laughs> my my, uh, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law gave me this for, for Christmas oh. um, or Hanukkah. <laughs> um, and look, it's a pepper mill and it lights up. So if you're cooking in the dark, you know how much pepper you're using. If the so. lights go out and you are going to be cooking, you need this. Maybe if you're camping? Maybe if you're camping. Oh, shoot, yes. And then I got some salt. And you don't need a lot of salt because you've already got soy sauce mm -hmm. in there. But I'm going to put a little bit in just because of a good measure. I love it. So then use God's spoons, as Rebecca calls them. God's spoons. Mix it all up. Oh, it's yeah. Now, Amy, are you a big fan of uh, April Fool's Day jokes? No. See, I kind of dread April Fool's Every Day. Every year I want to be like, Mom, I'm pregnant. But I couldn't possibly do that because that would be so rude. <laughs> your, your mother might, like, pass out. The ship has sailed on that. Anyway. <laughs> I'm far too old for that to happen. And Well, you should do it now then. I know. Actually, that's true. <laughs> this actually, it really hasn't. Has, well, let's not get into that. But Whatever. I, technically, I suppose I could still have But it. now I dread April Fool's Day because my husband's family is super big into it. And the first year that I was like as a part of the family, I was definitely duped the first few years by several horrible <laughs> April Fool's jokes. And then I was laughed at for years to come. But now I'm always like on the lookout for the jokes. And I try to come up with good ones, but my jokes are really lame. We're we're not we're not like that in my family. Really? And thankfully, my 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 now family I've married into doesn't appear to be either because <laughs> I do not like to be tricked. No, I feel so stupid. Like when I watch those shows, like punked, oh, or whatever, it makes me so yeah, uncomfortable. Yeah. Although I saw someone do those uh, the poppers, they put them like around the like in the bathroom and they oh. when they close the toilet or whatever, it pops and everyone, I've seen a lot of videos of that. Yeah, no. That would be terrifying. I would hate that. It'd be awful. I would hate that too. Although I'm definitely going to do one to my children with the, I'm going to freeze milk and cereal in a bowl. <laughs> I'm definitely yeah, doing them. that. This is funny. Tell them about so it. So you, you take a bowl and you put hands. milk and uh, cereal into it. My kids eat cereal in the morning and you put it in the freezer and then when you take it out, you put a little bit of milk on top and then they go to eat it and the, the spoon won't go in. That'd be <laughs> hilarious. My kids are 10. They're going to love that. 
And it's not mean. Yeah, it's see, just for hilarious. me, it's just like, okay, put a whoopee cushion under their chair. <laughs> and, you know, like minimal effort. That's so lame, though. I know, but minimal effort. Yeah, you know. And I love a whoopee cushion. All right, so is this meat mixed? This meat is ready. It's ready to go? It's ready. So I'm going to show you how to do this, and then and then we're going to I'm excited and nervous. And I might need a cocktail yeah, do this. we'll do a little of these, and then you'll make your cocktail, and I'll keep making them. You know, to Because this to is relax. a pretty chill Get episode, i got to say. We're, we're not over-extending our, ourselves in this one. It's pretty As simple. sometimes we've been known to do. Yes. Don't our, do what was it, our four-hour Hanukkah special, the first ever? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, the first show we did from Rebecca's Kitchen. Oh, my God. We did a full meal. And it oh was my God, like brisket, the whole the thing. The worst remember? idea ever. It was a lot. But it was hilarious. It was hilarious. Okay. And people so, stuck with us, so it was did. good. All right, so all right, so we've got, all right, so wonton skins, you can get at any store. Um, they seem to now be, what? Oh, wonton, wonton skins. skins. <laughs> um, <laughs> usually you can find them in the section where they also have like vegan cheeses and stuff. That's where I found them, kind of next to produce. Oh, that's interesting. Yes, but you have to look, it's a little bit, it can be hard to find. Okay. Now there's bigger wonton skins and then there's the square ones. You want the square ones. This is like three by three. It's a square. Yeah. It's a square. All right, so take, a, you know, a good blob of meat. Not too big, because if you make it too big, it's going to be hard to close. Okay. And then, well, then you have I to I won't have, get bold. I'll start, start Where's tomorrow. the water here? You have to have a bowl of water. Okay. So you wet your fingers with the water, and then you, you wet two corners of your wonton skin. Okay, I'm doing it right. I'm following okay. your lead. Okay. Now, watch. May I, there we go. I'm so then nervous. you fold over now, these are a little on the dry side, which is unfortunate. You fold it over into a triangle. If this were kreplach, we'd be done. It is not. Okay, I put too much in. So okay. I'm going to take a little out because I got a little bit bold. Listen, the first ones are always a little messy. Well, that is the truth. All right, so then you put a little water on one corner of your triangle. I'll wait till you're there. Oh, my God, live and learn. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> but see, so right now we've got a triangle. Am I pushing it down? Am I pushing it Pushing together? it down so okay. it's, it seals. seals. Okay. And then... I'm loving this. Okay. And yet also now then you on. wet okay. one corner of your triangle on not the top, but one of the sides. Sides, okay. I'm, and then I feel like the whole thing is wet at this point. Okay, okay, here's the tricky part. Fold the wet over the dry. I don't know if you oh. guys can see this. Right now it looks like a tortellini. Ah. See, that's essentially how you make a tortellini. Oh, oh no. Oh, okay. Well, here, I'm going to show you that you do it again. Then you kind of squish it in and you flip it inside out, people. This one's a mess because I also put too much I mean, in. This... It doesn't matter. The wonton okay. skins sat I out too like long. I would like to show you dry. what I did. Uh, just, to, just to show you that um, <laughs> it, do, it doesn't always work out. No. This is, this is no this bueno. Is, this is learning. It's this okay. Learning. It's still going to taste good. It's still going to taste good. We're still going to so, fry them up. Oh, my God. That, that top is... one was a little messy, so I'm going to do this again. That is really Here. bad. I'm going to show you again. This is why I typically practice at home. A little bit of meat. And, I don't okay. practice. A little bit of meat in the A little bit less. But I just don't want people to get frustrated or say, I yeah. can't do that. I no. can't do it either sometimes. Listen, I, I learned from the best, the Jews. The Jews! <laughs> so again, you, you wet the two sides, okay. fold it over, flip it inside out. I'm this one's a little more better. confidence this time. This one's oh. a little better. It almost looks like a... Am I using too much meat? There. You might be. Oh. Um, That's a lot. I'm going to do one more. And then you're going to make your cocktail. And I'm going to keep making these because we're keeping it easy breezy today. All right, so again, you put the meat in the center. Don't do too much, because it'll explode like Rebecca's. Um, wet two sides. Fold it over into a triangle. If you're doing kreplach, stop there. If you're not, then no, you... No, I don't get the folding it over itself part. Okay, so Okay, my... so you did that, yes. Yeah, so that, so you fold the wet over the dry. I did. Like a tortellini. I did. Take, okay, this is the tricky part. I don't know if you can see this. You t hold your fingers on the part that you just crossed I over, okay. and then you kind of push this little chubby part <laughs> inside out, and then it becomes like one of those crabs. What are those crabs <laughs> out here? I want to show you again. Um, this is this is a good one. Like a fiddler crab? No, like the oh, I don't know. I can't think of it. Anyway, um, did I do that wrong? No, but you know what? It's gonna work. It doesn't <laughs> matter. <laughs> Make it any shape you want. Oh my gosh, want. guys, mine do not look like Amy's. Yeah. But I bet you're gonna get good. there. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna get there. And you know what you need to get there? I made hala. I can do it. No, you need a cocktail to get there. Oh, that's true. Let so, me make a cocktail. While I keep making these, okay, you make your those, cocktail. Make cocktail. Excuse me, Jason. Yeah, get out Maybe of Jason man. would like to make one. Beep, beep. He might. Okay. Too, but he's too busy making prayer. He's too busy prayer cheering hands. us he's the, on. He's got the prayer hands. He can't cheer us on in the background. All right. So I have a little bit of a, it's like a, it's like a, 
what is the word? Not like a silly drink, but it's... It's an unexpected. It's sassy. It's kind of a sassy drink. Unexpected. So it's unexpected. It is. So today we're doing something with mascal. Now, I love mascal. This what is mascal, it? it's like a, a smoky tequila. Everyone knows, if you know me, I am a huge fan of tequila. It's primarily what I stick to when I drink. And so this is actually really nice because... <laughs> what? It just like snorted into my <laughs> microphone. You snorted at my tequila drinking? I, I laughed and it was a, it was a snort. <laughs> so what I love about this is it just gives the, the, the drink a little bit of a different taste than what you're expecting. So you put about an ounce into a glass. Right into the glass again. Right into the you glass. Know how much I That's, hate this. I know. There we go. April Foolin. Okay. And then you're going to mix in another ounce of amaretto. Mm. Now, what is so fun? Whoa. No, I know. And you're thinking to yourself, like this seems like a strange. Which is the whole mix. point of this cocktail, because it's right, April Fool's. Right. Because you're like, so it's, it's a little unexpected. It's like, are you fooling me with it's this? A little sassy. So about you're an not. ounce. I'm not. It's of, legit. There we go. An ounce of amaretto. An ounce of amaretto. It's kind of like I always say, drinking mezcal is almost like drinking a campfire. Like it's it's smoky. Mm. It's delicious. So I didn't realize mezcal is. Um, a smoky tequila. Yes, 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 yes. Good to it's, know. It has smoke infused. Okay. Mm. So now we're opening a bit of champagne because I know that Amy likes champagne. And if I was going to get her to try this drink, it's, it's cava, <laughs> and it's cheap. Yeah, but it's gonna work. It'll be. And good. it's gonna be. Yes. I don't use the real stuff for mixing. Okay. And now what you do is you top off with a little bit of champagne. Wow, that looks really good. Isn't that yummy looking? And now I'm gonna put a lemon peel, like oh. a lemon rind, Ooh. Um, in, which helps to also cut the smokiness and the sweetness, and it just brings out like this extra layer of goodness. And I just use a, a peeler. Wash my hands so I can drink this. Peel. Get those juices flowing. There we go. There we go, there we go. And you don't use the lemon juice. You don't put Side lemon juice in. You just use the rind and let that rock and roll in there. Actually, Amy, can you go throw me a spoon. Oh, yes. I guess I could have just used the peeler to mix. But we'll do it right. A Here's spoon. a spoon for you. Spoonage. Just give it like a little stir. Looks really good. The um, amaretto gives it like there's almost like a like a oil, not oiliness, but like a syrupy, syrupy look to it. Yeah. Oh my well, gosh. Well, cheers. This looks good. Cheers. Is Wouldn't it going to be good? would it be funny if I put like pickle juice in it? It was actually like no. pickle back. See, I love this, but I'm also a tequila drinker. You don't like it? Not so much. Really? No. Oh, see, I love the amaretto. It tastes, but it's weird because to me, it tastes like it has like a whiskey or scotch in it because it has like a, that it's smoky, a smoky flavor. It's a sm yeah. I don't but like it, And it's like the, it's like the warmth of the, the amaretto it's and like the a sweetness. Shoe. It's no, like a it shoe. does not. It's delicious. <laughs> I like all the flavors mm. that are going on, except the rubbery shoe part. Which is the which is the smoky part? Mezcal. So clearly, mezcal is not for me. Oh my gosh, that's delicious! I love this. I'm sorry for you. you I'm gonna like drink it. it because you know mm. I have no other option. Anyway, I did think of making Amy. Most this. people would probably like this. Oh, I think like I wouldn't choose. It, it is such unusual flavors. <laughs> like you get the like the sweetness of the amaretto, but the smoky quality of the mezcal is just you're not expecting it. It's very unexpected, and I like it. It is unexpected, definitely. I but you would I prefer like a Mai Tai. I would prefer something that's not smoky. <laughs> <laughs> so no, 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 I don't need to get a smoker for my beverages because I won't like it. See, I always like when they, when they, you go to like a fancy bar and they put smoke in the glass. My and brother got one there. of those. It's no. very cool, but clearly you I don't, don't need like one. It. No, I don't. That's that's a gadget I'm not going to get. Well, I might. I think it's fun. You should. Ooh. You're very sophisticated. Oh that. yes, we all know that's true. All right. So Amy, way. I want okay. to figure out. You're going to do this. keep practicing. I'm going to keep rolling these, but for now, I think while we're doing it, we'll go to the Yiddish lesson <gasps> in Southern California with my dad. So uh, let's take, it, let's away, take it away to the Yiddish lesson of the day. I'm going to figure out how to do Hi, Dad. Hi, Amy. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, so, um, so tell me, we're going to get right to it. What is the Yiddish word of the day? A real simple word. It's called Chazerai. Chazerai. Yeah, C-H-O-Z-Z-E-R-A-I. And what it means 
is junk, junk. garbage. Use it in a sentence. Okay. Okay. I went to a yard sale. I didn't buy anything because everything there was just pure chazarai. Oh, just a bunch of chazarai, a bunch of junk. A bunch of junk, a bunch of garbage. I love it. And can it also be, it can also be used slightly differently for like a person who's like sloppy, right? Yeah, yeah. you would call that person a chazer. A chazer. C-H-O-Z-Z-E-R. It's somebody who like overeats who stuffs oh. his face with too much food, that's a chazer. A guy who's always picking at food that's not ready to be eaten like, and so putting like, it in his mouth. Back in the day when you go to like Sizzler and you'd be like, look at that guy piling his plate up a mile high. What a chazer. Exactly. Got it. I never you did that. It. I was always quite sensible. I just went several, I just went back several times instead of piling it a mile high. <laughs> So the world is full of causes. You oh, just got to be aware of them. Yeah. So like gluttonous people are causers. And Hazarai is like a bunch of junk. There like, you go. I got it. So don't don't take me to that store. It's full of a bunch of Hazarai. It's just a bunch there of Hazarai. You, there you go. I passed my lesson. <laughs> Simple lesson for today. Simple lesson today. Well, I, I like it. That's a good one. Thanks. Uh, this is, so got, what's the weather like on Long Island? Uh, it's uh, it's surprisingly warm for a winter day. It's really yeah. lovely. Yeah. Here, here it's surprisingly cold. Really? Well, yeah. Well, that's crazy. You know what? It's April Fool's Day episode, so I don't know. Are you fooling? No, I ain't. Well. You know today? what? Mother, Mother Nature's fooling us today because it's warm in New York and cold in L.A. She got yeah, us. Mother. April don't, Fool's don't Mother Nature. Mother Nature. Don't mess don't with Mother, Mother Nature, Nature. Ever, She's a, ever. She can be a bitch. Yes, she can. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to get back to the studio. and and uh, But thanks for, for today's Yiddish word, Chazarai. I love there you it. go. Chazarai. You got it. I love it. Bye. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye. So we're still trying to figure out the name, the name of, of the, the crab. crab. They mate in twos and threes. That these remind me of, which you see on the bays here. And Someone and I, from the control room is yelling the name. I, I'm I sure they are. They're like, hello. They're like morons. We, we could tell you. <laughs> Not that it matters, but I'm just stuck on the this. The voice of God is going to come in and tell us <laughs> what it is from the control room. A bunch of hazarai. It's a hazarai. Okay, a bunch that of junk. Is, that's what my children collect. A bunch of hazarai. Hazarai? Hazarai. Hazarai, yes. My yeah. children insist on so collecting So there are a couple of Hazaras hazarai. because they collect... So you can be a Hazar? Yes. Those are my children. They collect crap from like anywhere. They find treasures. <laughs> they find treasures? Oh, Hazarai for sure. And so, now I can say that. They won't even know what it means. So do you feel that you have this down now? No. I <laughs> I feel like I did you, one that you, was decent. During the, yeah, the Here, Yiddish lesson... Here, can you show the people my... Well, yeah, her progression is interesting, to say the least. Uh, these are Rebecca's. It starts with kind of like a, a exploding lump. <laughs> it goes to sort of like a super fat um, tortellini. Then she gets there, and it's it's really good. Okay, I'm working really hard. And then she gets there, get and it's even better. Oh my god! But she's gonna still need a little guidance. Yeah, I, Amy needs to show. I get. I'm. I haven't. I don't have my jam yet. But in the meantime, I'm gonna start frying them while you keep doing Please that. Please do. So, so I am shoving this part through? Yeah, so you, as part. you fold it over, you then kind of hold the sides, you tuck it in, and you push it through. Oh, and then I it becomes, the, my problem is I keep trying to do it backwards. And then it this becomes that shocking. crab that I can't remember, and when I do... That mates in twos and threes. <sighs> yeah, I saw so. it happen in real life. Okay, so I've put, you know, I've, I've filled a fr uh, frying pan. I'm going to make more of about, my special Do ones. it. Make them and she who cares. Um, <laughs> that are going to taste good. the same. <laughs> I filled the frying pan to, you know, like a quarter inch of oil. I'd use vegetable, yes. vegetable oil. You can use any good high heat oil, um, canola. Oh, yeah. I use vegetable because that's what I saw in my house. And you just start frying them. It's, uh, I'm going to wait a little bit longer and let that, that one's okay, but it needs a little bit longer. I thought the oil was hot enough. It's not quite there yet. It's but it is. It's frying. I'm just gonna let that one go for a little bit and so help Rebecca. Oh my God, with Lord her folding. Knows, I'm gonna take another help. sip of this just because. Come on, Amy. You just your taste buds need to adapt. I'm a super taster. Okay, and maybe that's the problem. She's a that super means taster. I have a heightened. I have heightened taste buds mm -hmm. according to something. 
the little stick that I put in my mouth at a food conference, which proved that I was a super taster. What does that mean? That, that you, you just you super taste, taste like, things? The things you taste when you put the stick in your mouth like shows ultimate? the depth of your, your uh, palate, not your palate, but I guess your palate. So you, you think buds. that your tongue is like better at tasting things? Yes, which means that there are things I don't like because I taste everything. How are you doing there? Okay, um, this is so the part. This is the part where you get confused. I go this way? Yeah, then flip that over. Yeah, push it through and flip, flip that over. over. Wait, but I, it tears. Well, you just gotta squish it. Oh, okay. I mean, I will. I'm not <laughs> opposed to doing that. Good. As All long right, as so I know that's not like cheating. No. All right, so I've got my. There is someone who makes dumplings watching me going, girl, what are you doing? I'm trying. That's what I'm doing. I'm trying. Oh, come on. That's pretty. That's, that's pretty good, but you gotta. Yeah, that's actually, you know what? That's a little bit different and lovely. It might come undone. Oh, yeah. See, it just took like five. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Figure it out. So now I don't know if you can hear it. <gasps> I can. It's a bubbling. It's a sound it's of frying. excitement. It is. Building. Sound of sunshine. I guess you could also make these. I wonder if I could do like uh, like Nutella. You could do anything. Mm, my kids so would I love think it. I don't remember well, if like I Nutella said it. Nutella and banana with wontons. Yes, oh, absolutely. You could you could do this. You could make crab rangoon with this way. You just do the wonton skins. Crab rangoon. Crab rangoon is nope. very like it's not really Chinese. I don't think it came from China, but they have them at rest. It's that's the cheese wontons they call them. Ooh. So it's cream cheese and like imitation oh, cream crab. Cheese. Okay, okay. And they would make them the same way that they would do fried wontons. I don't know that I'd be into that. So I, you can I, do. I have a really hard time with seafood and cheese. Well, it's seafood crab. And cheese together. No. <laughs> and it's no. not even real crab. No. So. See, Amy, you won't drink um, smoky drinks, and I won't eat seafood with, with cheese. cheese on it. I mean, generally, that's pretty counterintuitive, I'd say, but I'm going to lower this a bit. But we're trying to come up with things that people would eat. Yeah. Things you might like. Ooh, uh, but I find this very relaxing. Now, do you find it, like, calming to... I do. I usually have to sit when I do it because my back hurts. So I'll just, like, I get you that. know, I'll just sit with the tray in front of me, and I'll just bang out a bunch of... Ooh, a bunch of uh, wontons. I'll prepare them ahead of time, and then when the party starts, that's when I fry them up. So the downside of this is that you do have to step away from your party to fry the wontons or whatever you're frying. But when I, anytime I'm home in LA with my family, I am trying, and we get together, I am trying to figure this out on my own. Well, lower wow, the that's oil. Hot, real fast. That oil is too hot now. I'm lowering it. I gotta step so back I try so I don't. To do that alone. It, I, I need like an instruction manual. But if you can see on the, if you can, if you can go on the camera above, you can see how nicely brown these are getting. Whoa, that oil are, has gone really crazy. Take, those, take that off the oil. Take yeah, it off the heat. Good point. Oil got crazy hot. Whoa, it's taking off. The, our goal. Oh, I'm gonna set an alarm. Our oh, goal God. at LTV is to not set off the fire. But alarm. it might happen today. Well, I'm not gonna cook any more of them because. I don't want to. No, set come on. You're fine. <laughs> but these are cooking. I don't even need them on. The Everyone needs a point. friend like me. I things know. are going south. Things seem like they might be getting out of control. You need someone to encourage up. you. I guarantee it. No, it's not. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> Although I say that, that's she... our April Fool's joke <laughs> to LTV. <laughs> April Fool's. We set off the we alarm set off today. The alarm. <laughs> so one of the it's first just times we cooked in my house. Um, Remember every you set time, off the every alarm. time I cook at your house, I set off the alarm. Set off the alarm, but it didn't matter because I always set off the alarm in my house. Anytime I cook in the kitchen, like you boil some water, the like alarm's going off. I don't, I don't know. Are you okay over there? Yeah, those look delicious. Thanks. I can't wait to eat them. <laughs> Me too. Now, are those done? Because those look pretty gold. Pretty much. They're a little light on this side okay. because I took them off the heat. Let me just put that. So on I'm going to drink over here on my own. Amy, I really want to get this twisty turvy thing part. You're gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Okay, so I did that. Do you think I'm close? Do you think I'm doing it like they're too close? No. Okay, no, hold on. So we then, don't do it. Okay, for me. okay I, I do won't it. do it. So you just explain it to me, and I want to do it. So it's hard to explain. I'm that small toddler. Twist, I want to do it myself. Twist this bit inside out and push. No, but you gotta kind of flip it over. This way. Yeah. So push that in, and then push the wonton underneath through. Am I going the wrong way? No. Oh. Got it. All right, these are done. These are done. So it's still making like a triangle in a way. That's fine. It's fine. It's okay. 
No, I don't want, when I make something, I don't want someone to go, it's fine, it's okay. That's like no, the but it worst doesn't insult matter. somebody can offer you. The wontons that you get oh, in Chinese fine. restaurants okay. don't even look like this. This is, these are how the Jews do it. <laughs> these are Jewish. Chinese these are the way that the, the Jew family did it. And I mean, this is how it I is learned. an April Fool's joke. I don't yeah. feel like I've looked up very much. I really apologize. But I'm super into this because <laughs> I want to get it right. I'm like obsessive. Well, we're about ready to eat them and I can't perfect wait. timing. I'd help you, but I'm too busy trying to figure this out. <laughs> You're going to get it. I'm going to get it. You are. They're a little bit on Maybe the hot side, so I'm going to flip them over and kind of let them okay, soak so up I, that's the nice. oil. So, I did that. so these you serve with, um, uh, traditionally we serve it with um, hot mustard mm, and yeah. sweet and sour sauce, which I have here. Um, I'll put them behind here. So Amy, yeah. here. I know we've been over this several times already. <laughs> Am I trying to go under or I'm trying to go this way? This way? No. The other way? See, here you folded it over and then you twist it inside out like that. Okay. And you make a horseshoe crab. Horseshoe crab! Oh, I hate horseshoe crabs. Me too. I mean, no I'm glad that they're around, but I really <laughs> hate them. They they're creepy. Make, well, they mate with my feet, which I don't love. They mate with your feet. Yeah, it's pretty consistent. And like, for a while, my husband thought I was kidding, but then he saw it actually happen. He was like, he they really do like your feet. I don't know why. I don't even know what that says about me or the horseshoe crabs. I have no idea. But let's eat these. Let's eat these. They're going to be a little hot. Okay. I'm going to open it up a little bit just to let it breathe. Mm. Did you dip it? Mm. Oh, yeah. All right, so. It's like soup dumplings. You have to kind of like let it open. Yeah. To like let the heat out. Mm, I'm going with How this. I'm going it? this. I don't know. I don't eat that one. I do the sweet and sour. <laughs> How hot it's is the this? hot mustard like I you get at a know. Chinese restaurant. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, here we go. Mm. Not good. Mm. Yes. You know what would go really well with this? This cocktail. Your smoky drink? All right. Yes. Well, on that note. Oh, my God. We made it. We made it through. I'm going to take a sip. It does work well with that. I know. Actually, they kind of cut the smokiness, I got to say. Well, hey, it's the oil. We, we paired well and we didn't even plan it. <laughs> you know what? That's kind of how we work. You got some energy. Kidding! <laughs> See? And this is why I hate this holiday. But anyway, we made it to the end. We, did. we have cocktails and appetizers. And wontons from the Jews. And joy. And so... <laughs> so... Thank you for joining, you for joining us, us on Two Jews Making Food. I am Amy. And I'm Rebecca. And we'll see you next time for more, what is it? Schmaltz and Stick. Schmaltz and Stick. Happy Schmaltz and Stick. April Fools. Happy April Fools. Don't be mean. <laughs>